In order to make your Google Sheets personal training template function, we need to do a couple things to enable the functionality of the template. The first thing we need to do is enable the Google Drive API. In order to do that, we're going to go to the API Manager page on Google. The link is below. And we're going to type in Drive. Here you're going to click Google Drive API and you're going to press enable. You can see mine's already enabled so it says disable. Simply press the enable button. It's going to spin for a second and then it's going to say enabled. And that's all we have to do on this page. The next thing you need to do is go to your actual training template. Go to the tools, the script editor. And we're going to click each one of these one at a time. And we're simply going to press play. Every one of these is going to need permissions to function because Google doesn't just automatically run scripts without your permission. Uh, it's a safety measure on their end. So we go back to the tools, the script editor, and we're just going to click them one at a time until every single one of these is allowed. All right, so now we have all of these scripts enabled. We're back onto the main page and everything should be functional here. The first thing that you're gonna notice is that you can't see any of the categories or the percentage signs. In order to open the categories, simply press the hide and show categories button on the panel and press show percentage and control panel. And what this is gonna do is open the columns that have the categories in them that you can then change to create your training programs, including the exercise category dropdowns, the set and reps dropdowns, and more. The next thing you'll need to do is go to the exercise list, type in your exercises, both the exercises and an optional attached video. What the video is going to do is when you select an exercise with a video attached to it, a video link is going to pop up that is useful on both mobile and on the computer. The program sheet allows you to type in set and rep schemes for both your main lifts on this side, which go at the top, and your accessory lifts, which are here at the bottom. The clients is where you're going to enter in your clients' names, phone numbers, emails, notes, and their maxes. And last, the settings is where you're going to enter in the actual maxes that you want to take from your athletes, as well as the email subject and body for when you're emailing your programs. The options that we have for saving and sending programs with the Google Sheets template include saving it to Google Drive. This is going to save it into a folder called Training Programs. So when you select this, it's going to save this this exact page in a folder called training programs and in a subfolder called Steve Olson. We can also mail this exact workout to this person as a PDF and what it's going to do here is email this exact workout to this email address using this subject and this body and you heard that it just popped up now and that's how you use the Google Sheets personal training template.